Edinburgh. It's often called the Athens of the North, but really this is the New York of Scotland, if that makes sense. And oddly, I'm going to see a show about Newcastle. It's by the Newcastle University Theatre Society, and it's set in the twilight world of fashionable dance clubs. On the way, I can't resist taking a few more pictures. And all of these people have something in common with great performers and politicians. They do recognize a photo opportunity when they see one. I wish I could rearrange the alphabet and put you and I together. Get your coat, love. You've pulled. Susie and Bernie, this is a play about Newcastle and specifically about the big market and the nightlife in the big market. What's so interesting to you about that? The play's set actually in the big market. It's a sort of theme pub in the big market. We've made one up because we didn't want to advertise. So it's actually the Paradise Club, which is a sort of cocktail bar come, come disco. Um, it focuses on two couples who... Basically, it's a Friday night, and they go out, and they couple up. How do you mean? They, I think pulling's the term, yes. isn't it? There's chat-up lines that are used all the time, and yeah. you just think, God, I've heard that so many times yeah. before. Can yeah. you give examples? I'm just curious. Um, well, I'll write them like, down, in fact. <laughs> well, some of them are quite rude, yes. but things like... Um, Get your coat you've pulled. Uh, yeah, and I wish I could rearrange the alphabet and put you and I together and things like that. And you just think, that's so cheesy, but yet blokes say it all the time because they think that yeah. girls fall for it. And um, they sometimes they do. Your father must be a thief. Because when he made you, he stole the stars from heaven and put them in your eyes. The Edinburgh Festival is a lot of fun, but it has a serious side. As a photographer, I'm most interested in looking at pictures. I'm going now to see a show which is serious and it's extremely honest. And as a cigarette smoker, it affects me personally. Colin Dixon is a photographer that I admire. He's chosen to record the most sensitive of subjects, people suffering with terminal cancer. As a photographer, you're always looking, I suppose, for good pictures in those terms, but you mm. also have to look at what kind of story are you trying to tell. And mm. I think the story that I was trying to tell and was um, the humanity of the situation. This man here, uh, his name is Paul, he was about the same age as me, and we spent a lot of time talking, mm. and uh, I got to know him very well. I feel um, a great deal of affection both towards him and towards the picture. Did you ever occur to you to feel in any way predatory whilst doing this? No, I didn't because you, you define your own boundaries, you draw your own boundaries in these situations and there are times and places where you know you have to step back. Mm -hmm. And I think that these times and situations soon sorted themselves out, so it, it was never really a, you know, a conflict there. One of the festival's most moving experiences, and well worth a visit. Dipping your hand into the artistic lucky bag produces quite a few surprises. This review is going out live to the whole world. Venue 8000, it's in Berwick, where I'm reading knitting patterns out in Polish. It's three o'clock in the morning, and I've still got an Arts Council grant. Laugh at Will. Well, basically, um, the biggest show, I suppose, in, in terms of um, viewing figures, it's, no doubt, it's a television type show, but it's not television. We have two screens here, one above, one below. The top one is its own television channel and is also beamed worldwide onto the internet live. So which how many people? To, uh, potentially two billion people. We've had 350,000 hits on the website in the past two weeks, just as we've been running, and it's the single biggest arts transmission that's ever happened. 
We've put on over 400 live acts in the past uh, two weeks. You can sit here and watch everything from dance to comedy to, to drummers from Zimbabwe and um, enjoy it. Reg, right. you started your life in the bingo industry. I did. And then your girlfriend moved to Peru to find UFOs. That's true. And now you're on stage. It's a sad world. <laughs> it's very unusual. Well, I'm, here, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm bouncing back. Right, tell me about the act. Tell me about the act. Uh, I'm wacky, bit crazy. Got me. Right. Me, me fruit curry bag media media magic box. Right. We actually started in Sunderland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. How did you get from Sunderland to here? I got it on the train, the one, right. two, five. But when I was in Sunderland, I come from like generations of circus families. Me, right. um, mum and dad were in the right. circus. Granddad, grandparents going right back, right. years and years and years, generations. And uh, when I was a boy, right, I was just sitting outside the caravan one day, and a group of welders and riveters came past, and I ran away and joined a shipyard. Looks like the talent scouts are here. Maybe they're looking for Edge. <laughs>